Good morning. This is my 39 plus week pregnancy video. As of today, I'm 39 plus 2. So, yeah, I'm about just less than a week till my due date, and I'm very, very, very nervous. Um, acid reflux has actually lowered a bit. It's still quite high at night, but it's not as bad as it has been. I'm off the iron tablets now, and I'll be reviewed, obviously, after I've given birth to the baby. And I am trying to help um, the baby a little bit by um, trying to eat foods with chilli. I even got some special chilli ketchup. Uh, one thing when Nicholas did tell me last time that I went was that my baby is actually back to my back. I looked this up online yesterday and it said that only about 13% of all pregnant women will have a posterior, that's what they call when it's back to back, a posterior baby. So I thought, ah, 13%, that's a pretty, pretty small number. And apparently you get a lot more backache labour. And apparently if your baby is posterior when you go into labour with backache labour and sort of regular uh, contractions all at the same time, it's meant to be more strenuous work for the the woman if you have a posterior baby. So if anyone else has a back to back baby in their womb, then that's probably what you should look at for backache labour and maybe just finding it really hard to um move because there'll be a lot of pressure up up your spine. There's not really much to talk about other symptoms. I generally have been craving a lot of chocolate still and I'm really hungry, uh, just in general. I crave dairy a lot, and I think over the past two days I've almost gone through about four pints of milk by myself. So yeah, there's not really much to tell you apart from by the time I update another video after this, my baby might be born or we may be waiting still. But I'm just going to show you my stomach because I think this is a curse. Um, for eight months of my pregnancy I didn't have any stretch marks, then as I showed you I did start to get some. At the moment, they are horrific. But you can see, like the left hand side, just up here, there are lots of stretch marks, and I'm not even kidding you. They are horrible. But it's mostly on the left hand side. But that's the loop on the side, the loop on the front. When I did go to my midwife last time, she said that I was two fifths. Um, the baby's head was two fifths of the way down to the pelvis. I've definitely felt the move a lot more since then, so I'm hoping when we go to the midwife tomorrow, she can say, yep, he's four fifths, or she, or five fifths into birth with a ready to go. That would be nice. At least four, four fifths, I'm really, really hoping for. So I'm probably just going to continue to eat lots of chilli foods <laughs> and see if that helps. I did actually have fourth labour. Oh, when was that? I think it was Saturday evening, I was, I'd was eaten uh, different things, chilli tortillas and bits, throughout the day, and I tried this chilli ketchup, and I had it on a few chips, it was really strong, so I didn't eat much of it. After eating that, um, I had some false contractions, false labour, and it really hurt. Um, it was bearable, but I had to grip my teeth when I spoke, so if that's what the beginning of labour's like, I hope that I'm strong enough for the rest of it. But that's about it for me, and if you hear from me again before the baby's born, then hopefully I can update you with something else helpful. Bye!